What up y'all, Tina here. Let's talk about Dragon Seed. So I'm not gonna spoil any major plot details for House of the Dragon season two. So for people who are not familiar with the books and they kind of only watch the TV shows, keep watching. I'll tell you a little information about Dragon Seeds. This might be a slight spoiler video for House of the Dragon. If you don't want to be spoiled, please don't move forward. So remember when Damon said, also unclaimed dragons. Sea smoke still resides on Driftmark. Vermithor and Silverwing dwell on the Dragon Mound, still riderless. Then there are the three wild dragons, all of whom nest here. And who is to ride them? Dragonstone has 13 to their four. So on Dragonstone, they basically have more dragons than they have riders. Dragon seeds are essentially Targaryen bastards. So for example, let's just say Aegon I had a bastard child. That child's grandkids could essentially be dragon seeds. Because even though they are not direct bastards, they come from the lineage of Targaryen. Another example, let's say Daemon, while married to Lady Rhea Royce. Let's say one night he decided to go and sleep around and one of the Lady of the Knights ended up pregnant with one of his kids. That child would essentially be a dragon seed because it's a bastard child of a Targaryen. So pretty much what's going to happen in season two, the Blacks are going to announce, hey, if you think you have Targaryen lineage, come out, see if you can bond with a dragon. And if you do bond and you help us fight this war, we'll essentially give you land and noble titles. Look, we all know those Targaryens like to sow their royal oats, okay? Let's get into the potential casting of some of the dragon seeds. Robert Rose may possibly be casted as Silver Dennis. So, yo, Silver Dennis is going to pop out like, hey, yo, may go to cruel, then my people, well, then my kin folks. <laughs> he's essentially claiming that he's a descendant from Magar Targaryen. Clinton Liberty and Abu Bakar Salim are essentially going to be the whole brothers, Adam and Alan Hull. I mean, we should already know what family they claiming, right? Do I, do I got to spoil it for you? I'm not going to spoil it. Watch the show. But yeah, they are going to be Adam and Alan of Hull. Kieran Bew may possibly be Hugh Hammer. Now, we don't really know who Hugh Hammer's father is, so we don't know, like, who he's claiming, but we can just tell, like, based off of the hair, he thinks he's a Targaryen. Off the White may possibly be casted with Leon Okenden. Same with Hugh Hammer. He doesn't really know who his father is, but we're essentially looking at their features and their hair, and we're thinking, hey, there may be some Targaryen DNA up in there. Now, Nettles. We don't really have a casting nailed down for Nettles just yet, but there is great speculation that this lady behind me right here may possibly be Nettles. Now, Nettles hasn't really kind of sort of been race bent because in the books, she was always described as being a small, skinny, brown skinned girl with black hair and dark eyes. Her mother is supposed to be a lady of the night and we really don't know who her father is either. I think this is why perception is so amazing because when I read that she's a skinny, brown skinned girl with black hair in the books, I'm already thinking that she's either black or she could be of mixed race. Or some people may think that could be the description of some of the people from Dorne. So there's a chance maybe she's not black in the books. But yo, I'm just gonna say in the books, she's a black girl. So this behind me is who we think is Nettles. And we can tell by, you know, the hair that there may be some African genetics up in there somewhere. So these are some of the main Dragon Seed players from season two of House of the Dragon. You know what I like about the Game of Thrones universe? It's very similar to reading like comics or any type of books that have been adapted to screen. No matter how much you think you know, that literature or that comic or that book when it hits the TV screen or the movie screen, they can change whatever they want. So this is all speculation. HBO hasn't really came out and confirmed anything except maybe the whole brothers. Things are always subject to change. So that's all I have for today. How do you guys feel about the casting for the Dragon Seeds and getting some first looks at the potential actors? Thanks for hanging out with me today. Peace out.